never wanted to do a cannonball so much in my life. I believe it. I would soak all four walls. <laughs> <laughs>
And so we had dinner in the town of St. Charles, which is kind of where Rachel and I's relationship first started. We started studying together at a coffee shop. So we'll show you the coffee shop. Unfortunately, it's closed because it's Sunday night. I'm sad I wanted to like go in there. We had this one place that we always sat and studied and um, our first date manifested in Picasso's. Well, I guess all the studying didn't count as actual dates, but um, a song was playing and Brad said, I bet you a Ruth Christick dinner, you don't know who sings this. And it was Bob Seger Main Street. My dad raised me on classic rock and would quiz me all the time on who the artist was, so I knew it right away. So so we pretty much owe Bob Seger our relationship. <laughs> our happiness. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So. But downtown St. Charles is kind of like uh, going back in time. It's really quaint and cute and it has a brick road. Does it still? Yeah. I just, it's not right here? Yeah, it is. This is brick. So we'll show you. All right, let's go. Yeah, so it's a brick road, but they also do like really neat festivals here all the time. And one of them is the Festival of the Rolling Hills, I think, and it's in the fall. And they have craft booths set up all down Main Street. And then they also do a Christmas festival where um, they literally have chestnuts roasting on an open fire at some places Just along the line. roasting. And all the shops are open and there's really cute boutique style shops that sell like Christmas stuff. And it's right on the river too. So it's, um, it's really neat, really neat town. <laughs> An adorable little coffee shop um, they have some of the best coffee I've ever had in there but they also do like coffee cocktails in the evenings and usually have live music set up over here in this corner <laughs> So this morning we went to the church that I went to like all through high school and then when I would come home from college this is the church that I went to and so I feel like it's home to me and I got to see a bunch of people that I you know I keep saying this but like I hardly ever get to see these people and they're like my family and my close friends and my church family and so it's really good to see them so we went to church this morning and got to see everybody that I haven't seen forever just about two months ago our pastor that's been there for like 10 years we're in the United Methodist Church circuit so they rotate their pastors every so often and he was there way longer than is typical for Methodists but he rotated to a different church and we got a new pastor in and his name's Andy. His wife is pregnant and she's due next month and so I got to meet them and uh, they're awesome people. He's really good. Like he's, I got a lot out of his sermon and he's funny and like personable and just really well spoken and so I'm really excited to get back home once again and like get back involved in our home church. So, um, 
But what was really funny was during his sermon, I've never felt the baby's kick so much this entire pregnancy. Like I was trying to like put my hand on where they were kicking and I would put my hand there and then they would kick on the opposite side. It was like, I felt like I was playing whack-a-mole with them, but both of them were kicking almost constantly. It was really cool. Then when we got to St. Louis, I was feeling I was feeling them kicking again, so I was taking Brad's hand and trying to put it where I was feeling it, and he wouldn't feel it, and then he would take his hand away, I'd put my hand there, and I would feel him kick like immediately twice. I think it's him because it, it was lower. So then he'd put his hand back and then nothing. And so I don't know if he, like when his hand's there, I don't necessarily feel it from the inside, so I don't know if he's just not sure what he's feeling for, but I know when they get stronger, he'll be able to feel them. So very exciting. I'm, I'm loving feeling their kicks in there and it's becoming like more frequent and more like pronounced. So that's super exciting. I love it. Bedtime. Done. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. <laughs> We're back in St. Louis. Gonna fly out early tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow us on our journey. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!